know you're in there. Well, do you know what? If we don't have this out now, then we'll just do it next time I see you in the village. Baby, you will love me now. Carter, it's your choice. John Paul for a long time. He's not a liar. I need to go to work. You're not going anywhere. Not until you're honest with me. Fine. There was a, a moment. One that I bitterly regret. And this moment involves sex? Answer me! I can't believe that I didn't know you were into men. I'm not. Carter, are you gay? No. Then what are you? Bisexual. Have you slept with other men before this? No. But you said you were bisexual. Well, if I were to call myself anything, I'd say bi-curious. Do you know, this doesn't make any sense. So you, you, you were happy to sleep with John Paul, and at the same time you were telling me you wanted to slow things down in the bedroom department. Because what we have is loving and caring, not some seedy, tawdry thing like it was with him. I am sorry that I wasn't upfront with you about my mistake. I really am. I know it's shameful. Carter, you cheated on me. And, and, and it's not about who it was with, it's about trust. And I, I don't trust you anymore. things. Well, I hope you're happy. Carter, I didn't mean for Maxine to hear what I said. I do not regret that she knows the truth. Your version of the truth. My version is the truth. No, it's not. And besides, I didn't think your lot approved of outing other people. Oh, sorry, my lot? Are you two okay? Mr. McQueen and I are just discussing a school matter. What school matter? Freya, in case you've forgotten, you're a pupil here, not one of the governors. Now get to class. Now I have to go and pick Sally up from the hospital. I'm already late. Well, I'm afraid Sally's gonna have to wait until the end of the school day now. Nancy's covering my classes for me, it's fine. In case you've forgotten, I'm your employer, so you will do as I say. Are you really doing this? It's not personal. Well, we both know it is. OK, fine. It is personal. You broke your promise to keep quiet about us. So I'm warning you. You leave these premises and you'll be suspended. Now, I need you to promise to take it easy and try not to worry too much. Well, that's easier said than done. <laughs> From what I've seen, your family care about you very much. Lean on them. Hey, sorry I'm late, something came up. Is she definitely okay to be discharged? No, the last thing I want to do is clog up a hospital bed when I'm just waiting for test results. Just make sure you offer her as much TLC as you can over the next couple of weeks. Okay. Thanks for taking such good care of me. <laughs> what did she mean by TLC? No idea. You said you were late because something came up? Yeah, I fell out with Maxine. Oh, what happened? It's complicated. Right, fine, but why don't you go and see her and work it out? It's not as easy as all that. Right, off we go. Well, it's worth a try. After all, life's too short to be losing a good friend like her. I know you're upset with I've me. I've got every right to be. You knew I was with Carter. How could you do that to me? All I can say is that I'm really sorry. Joe, over the years, I've got used to the men I'm dating betraying me. But my friend, it's a whole different ball game. I was just wondering whether I could take you both for dinner. 
No, I'm gonna go to the flat and get my stuff. I can't believe that I've not even finished unpacking and I'm already moving out. What? Um, your dad and I, we decided that things were moving too fast. But it doesn't mean that we can't spend any time together. We could still go for coffee and have a gossip whenever you want. It won't be the same, though, will it? I don't know what the issue is, but I know it's your fault. <sighs> Carter, look, even after everything that you've done, I want you to be happy. And if John Paul makes you feel like that, then you should go for it. I don't want him. I want you. That ship sailed. No, no, it's not. Look, please, Maxine, we can fix this. No, we can't. Look, I'm going to move on with my life, and you need to do the same. Declan, hello. Tonight's session was a little bit short notice, but I've managed to set everything up as you requested. This evening isn't going to be a typical session. Oh? We're here for one of our brothers. He's in desperate need of our help. I see. You're second only to me in this group. The other members... They look up to you. They respect you. And they want to help their fallen brother. Maxine called me earlier. She's worried about you. You've acted on your impure and heinous thoughts, and thus you've destroyed a normal and healthy relationship with her. Okay, okay. I... I... I was weak, and I made a mistake, but I'm already aligning myself back on the right path. I'm very glad to hear that. But you can't do it alone. What are you, what are you doing? What needs to be done? No. Oh. Close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we beseech you to give your son the strength to fix this sinful mess and get him back onto the righteous path. Maxine! 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 Hey, I was, um, I was wondering if you would like to add yours and Carter to my list. What? Your windows. Oh, um, you'll have to ask him. Carter and his windows have got nothing to do with me anymore. Click here to watch full Hollyoaks episodes right here on YouTube, or click here to catch up on the latest drama in the village. And make sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date on all things Hollyoaks.